The golf world seems to be quite busy enjoying the Live Golf League and discussions about the recent changes on the PGA Tour. But with all that going on, news has been making rounds. It was sad, and it might blow your mind as well. To find out more about this, keep on watching this video. One of the golf players on the PGA Tour, James Hahn, is another golfer who apparently disagrees with the changes introduced by the PGA in 2024. There have been a large number of golfers who chose to rebel publicly against such things while there was also a small number of golfers who supported such changes. I mean, I hate them, Hans said for Golf Week, as quoted by sources. I'm going to say exactly what 99.99% .99 of fans said about the players leaving for the Live Golf Tour. If our players just stated that, we're doing this for the money, I would have much more respect for them. We all know that James Hahn is no stranger to voicing his opinion on PGA Tour matters and the golf player still hasn't tried holding back with some strong criticism as well as accusations about the new designated event schedule. The two-time PGA Tour winner golf player launched a verbal attack on the schedule changes which will introduce eight new designated events with no cuts in 2024. James Hahn didn't mince words when accusing the PGA Tour of prioritizing the top players and branding the reasons to be purely about money and the causes some players were scrutinized for moving to live golf. James Hahn used to represent the membership of the Player Advisory Council until the end of 2022. Peter Malnati replaced him as a player director, who Hahn also has targeted in his recent outburst. Also, the designated events on the new PGA Tour schedule will feature between 70 to 78 players, and there are several ways they can qualify, but Hahn believes these changes were made to serve the players at the top of the pile. Rory McIlroy has criticized fellow pro James Hahn for missing a player meeting on Tuesday, just three days after he spoke at length about his problems with the tour. Rory McIlroy is rarely known to be out of the firing line when it comes to matters about the PGA Tour and its steps to counter the threat posed by his rival Liv Golf. The golf player has once again been at the forefront of events amid the latest changes coming to the PGA Tour, namely introducing some limited field, no-cut events in 2024. Moreover, there are many suggestions that the tournaments, which will feature between 70 and 80 players, will make sure that many will be shut out of the big money occasions. Sure, one PGA Tour pro, James Hahn, was scathing about the idea and those most likely to benefit from it also in an interview with Golf Week. The golf player has yet again been at the forefront of events amid the latest changes coming to the PGA Tour, namely introducing some limited field, no-cut events in 2024. He said, I mean, I hate them. I'm going to say exactly what 99.99% .99 of fans said about players leaving for the Live Tour. So, if our players just said, we're doing this for the money, I would have a lot more respect for them but how they are covering up what they're doing and trying to make it a thing about sponsors and fans and saving opposite field events. I think that's all BS. But according to Golf.com's Dylan DeShare, Rory McIlroy has hit back after the American failed to attend the golf player meeting, which was held in the buildup to this week's Players' Championship aimed at outlining the changes. The player said, Like, you say all this and you're not even in the meeting? If you want to get informed and be a part of the process, and the fact that he wasn't even in the room was a slap in the face to everyone there. Speaking to the press after the meeting, McElroy explained that it had been constructive. He said, I think when more information and data was presented to them, and the people that maybe had reservations about it I think came around, or at least were more informed on their opinions. Right. He continued, I think the temperature in the room was nowhere near as hot as I anticipated it to be once the information was sort of laid out. While Rory McIlroy's belief that the meeting had helped allay many players' fears over the changes, he had also admitted to the Golf Channel's Todd Lewis that not everyone was happy. And when asked if the tour was unified, the player responded, No, there are some angry players about the tour changes. So, James Hahn's beef with the PGA Tour is mainly creating what he called a two-tiered system with a feeder tour onto the elevated tour series. On the other hand, the prize money has also increased as a result of the competition, and while the new plans have received a mixed response from the rank-and-file players, Rory McIlroy said the improvements were necessary, as Live Golf has seemed to have poached some of the game's top players with mouth-watering salaries, the PGA Tour has made changes to try and keep up. 
That included a $50 million increase to the Player Impact Program, which rewards the sport's most popular players to $100 million total. Commissioner Jay Monahan's most recent memo to players showed that the fund had been reduced back down to its original amount of $50 million, but Han still called the increase a $50 million mistake. He has even questioned why legendary golf player Tiger Woods, who played just nine competitive rounds in 2022, should take home $10 million for winning the Player Impact Program. The main theme over these past years has been how do we get the most money for the most popular players on our tour, James Hahn asked. I use the word popular instead of the best players as granted that Tiger Woods is one of the best players to have ever played this game. However, he won just the PIP money two years running without really playing golf, without being ranked in the top thousand, and without keeping his card. I would have never imagined growing up that someone could make more money just for being popular than for how good they are on the course, Han also suggested that, and in trying to compensate with Liv, many of the PGA's golfers have stooped to the same level as the rival's defectors. The PGA Tour has also designated certain tournaments as elevated events where, like Liv, there will be no cuts in the smaller fields. McElroy was speaking at TPC Sawgrass in Florida ahead of the Players' Championship. But still, Rory McIlroy is planning to stick to his guns. Right after defending the changes before last week's Arnold Palmer Invitational, pointing out that the golf tournaments will attract sponsors as they keep the stars there for four days, and in his latest appearance before the media, he highlighted that there will be several ways for players to qualify. He has said that, making the playoffs, getting into the top 50, so there's certain things that you have to do to qualify for those events. Also, I think that is more than fair to warrant eight events a year that are guaranteeing the players four days. While golfer Rory McIlroy is keen to point out that he feels the changes are fair, his reaction to Han's absence from the meeting suggests that he also believes players must educate themselves on the move before airing their opinions. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. If you liked today's video, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon in another video.